okay this is going to be another project for the bathroom I've got these purple bottles that um, I'm going to put labels on them and fill them up with my shampoos and conditioners for me and my son uh, they came with these little labels but I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to use them or not because I'm going to use the uh, P-Touch to make labels because when I'm in the shower my uh, I don't have my glasses on so it may be harder to read and I don't want to put bath gel in my hair so uh, I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to use those or not but I definitely am putting labels on them I've got an idea and I think it's going to be really nice so I'll just let you see what I'm going to do okay so I put all the labels on them they turned out okay I did a p-touch and then attached it to the label for what I wanted, that's that's fine. It's, it's got my conditioners, my shampoos, my bath gels, and then my sons as well. Um, yeah, so those bottles are good. What I plan on doing is using this uh, shoe. This is very small organizer, and I'm going to hang it inside the shower and have those bottles in there. Won't that be perfect? I think so. I'm going to use these. Uh, contact hooks that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, I'm going to have to get smaller uh, contact hooks. The ones that they that I had were too big. They wouldn't fit, fit through the little narrow hose, so I had to use the hang over the door, the, the hooks that came with it. So I put it on the shower rack for right now. But uh, it's got the six more extra pockets that so we can put pumice stones, razors, things like that in there. I think it's cute. I think it's going be efficient. So, uh, like I said, I plan on attaching it to the wall when, uh, I don't know, that works though, but I need my tower rack. On Canva, Canva is this great website where you can do any kind of printing you want. I'm telling you, I have used them for business cards. I've used them for letterheads. Uh, for websites, announcements, all types of things. And it's so, the format is so easy to follow. You can pick, you have to, to get the good stuff, you have to subscribe, but it's not that much. It's like 12 something a month, and it's well worth it. I've, I've It's worth its weight in gold, in my opinion. Anyway, um, they do have a free version, You can, but it comes, it has the watermarks on it when you get the free version. But anyway, um, so you pick, choose your background, choose your size that you want them. I measured these and decided I wanted something that was going to fit this size right here. And then I went on there and I looked through all the, the photo backgrounds and I picked these particular ones because they, they looked like what, what I was uh, looking for. Then I said, well, you know, I want to incorporate my peacocks into every piece, you know, so every one of them. I put some type of peacock kind of in that picture. See there, we have the, the peacock, and I got the peacock feathers there. And you can move them around and, and set them up just the way you like. This one, the, the peacocks are right there. You see that black outline there and in the bottom. There's not as prominent as the others, but uh, it also brought in the butterflies that I'm using too. But anyway, uh, Canva is a great place. These are glossy and... Uh, I think they're well worth it. You could, you know, you could order them in quantities, or you can just order them singly. And I, ha I have had, I love Canva. I just, I would recommend that to anybody. But anyway, this is going to be the next project we work on. So, just wanted to let you know. Okay, so we sip, skipped a step of the video. It didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped uh, while I made them. However, these were brown frames that I painted with the metallic silver and I kept the matte, the plum marbled matte that I like the background. It matched my decor so I wanted to keep that. I also added a roll of bling around the picture. I also, uh, the picture itself came back a little smaller than what I had anticipated. Uh, so what I did was took mirrored contact paper and I put that on the back and then attached the print to the front of that and 
use that as my background and it turned out really nice it gave us some extra pop there uh, step back so you can see them all together the light keeps hitting it and it's just like that might have a little bit there okay so uh, I think they turned out really nice uh, of course they went right down with the towels uh, I think they turned out really well I like the way they tie in together with the bathroom Thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. I appreciate you. I want you to have a great day.